So, we went to Salvation Army this morning. I kind of, of course, as soon as I walk in, I find Christmas, but I left it behind. I'm trying to get away from Christmas for a little while. Those were $6 a piece. So I was just like, I don't think so. So, I left those. And started kind of just going through each one of the shelving units to see if there was anything. I wasn't finding a whole lot. But making an attempt. So, sorry I'm having to do this voiceover. I was talking to you in the store, but the music was kind of loud. And I was afraid I was going to get a strike on the video. So, I decided just to go ahead and take that off and do the voiceover today. So, I didn't get in trouble. So with all kind of the metallic stuff, um, there was a silver overlay dish, which I think is beautiful, but I don't have a great sell through rate on those. So I did end up leaving that behind. These cups were great. They were vintage pewter, which, you know, I like my metal cups. You guys know that. But I picked up the first one. It's $3.99. I picked up the second one. No tag. And then this one was taxed. So they had them priced individually at $3.99 a piece. So it did end up leaving those behind. They, they were amazing, but not worth it. Now I started looking at these. I know in years past I have sold these online. Uh, they did only have three, not the complete set of four. But I haven't picked any up in a while, so I decided to go ahead and grab them and kind of do a quick search on them to see, you know, if they would be worth it or not. As you see here, they are not worth it. So I did end up putting those back in the long run. But sometimes you just grab stuff and check it out later before you make a purchase, which is what I normally do. I usually end up emptying a lot out of my cart that I pick up. Love this little Las Vegas mug, the little emoji mug, but again, not really worth the money. I did check out the price on those, but you know, newer pieces like that. But I did think he was really cute. And I found this, it's kind of like, um, Oh, not that. <laughs> That's a plastic uh, pineapple cup. But this is made in Portugal. Beautiful piece of pottery. I mean, uh, excuse me, Italy, not Portugal, I believe. Beautiful piece of pottery. But there was a lot of chipping around the rim. And I just didn't feel like the money was there for it. So I ended up leaving that as well. I always check out the orange section when I'm here. They have everything, like, placed on colored. Like, you know, put all the orange stuff in one place. All the blue, all the silver, whatever. I always check out kind of the orange section just in case they put out any cool Halloween, vintage Halloween, but they didn't have anything today. I did like this little pottery napkin holder with the, the sad-eyed pig on it, but I didn't pick that up either. Not all days are great days when you go out sourcing. You know, you go out there with high hopes. And sometimes you walk away with very little or nothing. And it was looking like that was going to be one of the, the latter <laughs> was going to apply. See, I didn't even see that mug with the J on it back there. I probably would have grabbed that for myself. This is a really pretty piece of pottery. Uh, all the leaves and the flowers were raised on it. But there was some pieces missing on it. So I did end up just not even picking that up. Over in the white section, not a lot. Clear. Not saying anything, except some canning jars, which I needed last week, but not for that price. They were $1.99 a piece for used canning jars. In the blue section, I thought that was kind of interesting. The Key West Extension Overseas Railway, but it was damaged.
which can kind of be a theme at a lot of these thrift stores. Lots of damaged items. You really have to look over these items very, very carefully. At least in my local thrift stores because they put a lot of damaged things out. I like these glasses. They're kind of that, you know, watermelon with the pink on top and the green on the bottom. I probably would have picked those up if they've not been priced individually. They had a lot of them. But I just couldn't pay that price individually for those. They'll probably be there when I go back. I had to go back and take another look at this. Look at that face. <laughs> That's a Norman Rockwell plate, but my gosh, the face on that girl. She, you could tell she did not want to be there. I loved this, but broken. I really honestly think a lot of these, um, especially like Salvation Army, Goodwill, places like that, they really should have like almost like a scratch and dent section I think I thought that would be good for hat pins but again it had some damage on it so left that behind but you know if you had a scratch and dent section where you put all the broken pieces and things that have been repaired that kind of stuff in one section and priced it down to where people that wanted to craft with it or use it for something else they could pick it up, you know, reasonably, 25, 50 cents, maybe even a dollar for some things. And it wouldn't go to a landfill. Like, look at this piece. It's missing both arms. And it's still marked at $6. If you had a scratch and dent section, you maybe could use that for something. So that's it at this one. So leaving the first Salvation Army here, I found a few things, uh, picked up a few things after I turned the camera off. I kept getting phone calls, so I kept turning my camera off for me. But um, I did pick up a couple things. They brought a card out, so I rushed over there and grabbed a couple things out of that. And we're gonna see where we're gonna go now. So, <laughs> All right, so we had to stop at Starby's for her because she's special. She doesn't drink just regular coffee like I do. <laughs> she asked me if I wanted something. And I was like, I brought mine from home. And so she ordered this thing. What did you say your order again? Because I can't even remember what it was. Grande iced oat milk lavender latte. With lavender cold, cold, foam. cold foam. Okay. Yeah. She has to say all that to order a drink. Okay. I, I'm like a uh, large coffee. You know, <laughs> that's me. And do you know how much a lavender, <laughs> la, what did you say, a latte? I don't, I can't even say all of it. With oat iced, milk, iced blah, oat blah. Milk latte. Iced oat milk latte with lavender. Lactose intolerant. I can't have And <laughs> lavender cold foam, something or another. It was what seven seventy six. It's delicious. Can you believe that seven seventy six for something to drink? I was like, I can do like 14 cups of coffee in my Keurig for that. So, she's right now looking online to see if she can find a machine so that she can do it at home. Because, you know, it would save her money in the long run. <laughs> you do this every day, $8 a day for a drink. You could pay for that machine in no time. But where are you going to get your lavender stuff? You can get the simple. Oh, you can get lavender simple syrup? Yeah, they make like tons of Oh, see, I don't know these things. Uh, I'm, look how tiny I'm that so one is. generic. It's like single serve. Oh, look how cute that is. I'm so tiny. I can put that in my room. <laughs> there you go. You can have your own machine in your room. Keep it away from the room. 
<laughs> yeah, it doesn't go on my coffee bar. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go through and get her iced whatever, blah, 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 blah. And I just call it the $8 drink. And then we're going to hit up another, uh, we're going to the Salvation Army. Where are we going? Something like that. Yeah, something like that, she said. So we're going to go down here to the other one that's south of us and see if there's anything in there. Like I said, I did pick up quite a few things in this last one. But they didn't have any discounts today, so it was like everything was regular price, which kind of is irritating. But you do what you can, right? So we will see what we find at the other one, and we'll be back with you guys in just a minute. So on to Salvation Army number two. I love that bike. <laughs> Beach Cruiser. So, travel on over here again. Music too loud, so I have to do a voiceover for you guys. Uh, that was like an oil lamp, but it was missing its wick and its top portion, so didn't pick that up. That was a really cool, like, stoneware, almost uh, snowman thing. Beautiful seedy blue. And that turquoise color that I love, started to put it back, and I was like, no, if nobody wants that, I'll end up keeping that. Some amethyst punch cups. They don't deal in a lot of that stuff, so I think it's beautiful. But it's got to be a very special person that's looking for replacement cups, so I just don't do it. I thought that was pretty. Didn't have a maker on it though that I could see, so nothing I nothing that I uh, knew anyway. Those plates were new or newer, I should say. Cute little bluebird on them, but I did end up putting them back because they were newer. They traveled in my cart for a little while, but. I did ultimately end up putting those back on the shelf. You see how I just leave my cart sitting somewhere and start walking around? It's like, oh, nobody's going to steal my purse. <laughs> I think I believe in humanity way too much sometimes, but I was kind of keeping an eye on it. Not a lot on the shelves. Um, that was kind of hanging in because the guy was bringing stuff out. So it's kind of biding my time, you know, to make, to kind of <laughs> stalk him when he came out. That was a beautiful plate. I would say platter, really, because it was large. But, again, they wanted $10 for it. And I just didn't feel like it was worth it. Again, Christmas. It's like, get away from it, Gina. Really cool. I would call it an asparagus dish. But it had a hairline crack in it right there. So, left that behind. I thought that was really pretty, but made in China. It had been in somebody's garage sale for $2. And they had priced it up at Salvation Army. <laughs> so, that stayed. If they had a whole set of those, I probably would have bought those. But they only had one. So, I stumbled upon this box over here. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful jewelry uh, box lined with velvet. All oh, this gorgeous wood with inlay. It is really a beautiful piece. So I kind of wanted to research that a little bit. So I want to 
went ahead and grabbed it so I could do comps on it. So the search continues. That was a pretty canister. I found these two old uh, plates here. I kind of, I liked them. And that was a Severus piece, which can go for good money. So I went ahead and picked them up so that I could do some research on them. But I will show right here, uh, the sell through on those are not great and the price is not great. So I did end up putting those back on the shelf. I did find this little two tiered lacquer box. I did pick that one up. I have this little bag of angels here. It looked like somebody had them for like a birthday or something. I don't know what it was. There was something on the tag there that had those done for. I'm always drawn to these dark baskets. I don't know what it is. I always pick those up and look at them. I don't sell a lot of baskets, but I do purchase them sometimes for myself. And this trade like drew my attention. I don't know why. I don't know what it was. Maybe because it's that dark stain again. I don't know. But it was called a trendy trivet. And it's like a homemade piece. Um, and it's got those little wooden pegs that you put in there to hold, you know, your casserole dishes or whatever. So I thought that was kind of cool. I picked it up. This was a wood piece that was wrapped in the uh, kind of twine. It had like the carved elephant in it, but there was no maker mark or anything on it. So I think it was a mass produced piece. This box, of course, drew my attention. I love boxes, but that one was missing like half of its hardware on the top. So that one had to stay on the shelf. I thought those candlesticks were very pretty. I kind of did some comps on them. I went back over there and did some comps on those candlesticks. And again, sell through rate, not great. And for the price, they had them priced individually, and they're usually sold as a pair. So there was just not enough money left to buy them. This drew my attention. I thought that was very cool. Uh, it's got the two little cups up on the tail, and it's got uh, it's a decanter. These were little angels. They weren't very old though. They looked like they were kind of some kind of like reproduction mass produced kind of thing. So I end up leaving those behind.
black glass uh, Fenton Bell. I did end up picking that up. I was looking long and hard. I just thought that was the cutest little cookie jar. Uh, I flipped it over. I saw it was a Target piece. I did end up comping it just to see how much they were worth online. Again, not worth the price that it was. So, he had to stay there. I love this sign. I thought that was fantastic. However, it had damage right there in the corner. If it had not had that damage to it, I would have picked it up. Even though, you know, it's a newer piece just made to look old. I thought that was so great. Little sign there. And I like this one, the laundry room one with the little crystal knobs on the bottom. But it was warped, so I didn't pick it up. So that's it for this one. Let's see what we got. So left Salvation Army number two. Uh, Edie got some, a couple pairs of jeans she's been looking for. So that was cool. And like a little shirt. I think that was just to add on. I don't think she's been looking for that. But um, what kind of jeans are there? Like a certain style or something? Yeah, it's the Oh, low-rise jeans. Oh, yeah, those like, are coming back? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's awesome because really I... really expensive now. Really? I need to clean my closet out because that's all I have. Top, it's like 90 bucks a pair. Really? It's not even like brand names either. It's just like any... I need to clean jeans. my closet out because that's the only kind of jeans I ever wear. I found like a bunch of early 2000s. Dang. Awesome. Brands, so I was like, oh, yeah. So, Y2K low-rise jeans are coming back. Y'all heard it here. Especially Apple Bottoms. Apple Bottoms? Really? Apple Bottoms? Oh, yeah. Like the song, apple bottom jeans, yeah. boots with the fur. Are boots with fur coming back? Boots that are made of fur. Oh. <laughs> it's just all fur. <laughs> oh, like the uh, Uggs kind of thing? No, like you take a pair of boots and you cover it in fur. Oh. So it's like caveman like, looking yeah, boots. Yeah, like stompy. <laughs> all right. Stompy Good to boots. know. I'll be on the lookout for something like that. They're pretty new. Yeah, but I mean, I wouldn't even be looking for that kind of stuff. I don't know. I wear flip flops. That's what I'm saying, like juicy and all that's coming back. Juicy's back. Cool. I've got a juicy purse in there. I need to list then. It's not the kind you're looking for. So. <laughs> it's, <side item. laughs> it's like, wait a minute, what you got? Mine's new with tags. I don't know. So, anyway, I got to get that listed since now that I know that stuff's coming back. You've already seen it. Anywho, oh, we got the police in front of us. Let's not get their tag. They come back and get me. Anywho, uh, so we're going to head back now. Uh, she's got to get to work. But she got some stuff. I found a few things. Um, isn't it crazy? I always get in the car and I can't even remember what I picked up. But I found a few things that I thought were kind of cool. Oh, I found this board thing. I'll have to show it on here. Uh, it's like an artisan made piece and you put your uh, casserole dishes on it. But it's got all these little pegs and these little holes cut out so you can like make your ca uh, casserole dish stationary like on this big wooden uh, tray. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Quite the ingenuity somebody had. But it was new, it had its tag on it and everything. So I picked that up. And some of the stuff I showed you in the store, I did end up putting a few of those things back. So I was just like, I just don't think it's worth it. So, anyway, I will clip a little haul on the end of this so you can kind of see what I did pick up and you'll understand what I left behind. But, yeah, that's it for today. So, hang in there for the haul at the end of this and, oh, look at that. They've got marbleized coating on that Corvette. Do you see that? It looks like Carrera marble. It's a wrap. Anyway. It's a wrap, y'all. So, anyway, um, yeah, I'll show you what we picked up, and that'll be it. Okay, guys, so here's the things I picked up today. I already showed you this beautiful uh, music box uh, jewelry 
box with the velvet lining. You saw that in the store. Uh, I did pick up these little vegetable people. They got little vegetable heads. I think they're adorable. A little radish and a little cabbage and a little, I guess he's supposed to be like an onion. I got those. I did get this huge hat box. I love that. And I got this little Boyd's Bear. He's jointed and the little blanket box back there. And then I got these really cool uh, punch tin wall hangers and they got like this chicken wire on the front for like a little shelf there's another one right there pick those up and i thought this piece was very very interesting i don't know what it is exactly but it's this hand carved wooden piece and i guess it's supposed to be like a moose there i don't know what that is i just thought it was really cool so pick that up and then trying to dig back here this really cool uh, vintage lucite uh, thermometer which you can tell it's European because it's in Celsius instead of Fahrenheit and it's spelled RE instead of ER for thermometer but I thought that was really cool with the shells and the glitter and stuff in there it's shell shaped and I got this little piggy bank and the funny thing is when I picked it up I was like is this broken no it's got money in it but it's the kind, the old Japanese kind, that doesn't have a stopper. So, the money's staying in there because I'm not trying to get that out. But, you know, there could be a bunch of money in there. I don't know. And then I got this pretty little black uh, Fenton hand-painted bell. And I got this. I don't know what it is or who made it or whatever. It's this really cool statue. I just thought that was interesting. Kind of abstract, brutalist kind of piece. So I picked that up. And I got this because, you know, Fourth of July is up on us very soon. And it's the Gettysburg Address. It's framed. It's one of the cheaper frames, you know. I bought it for the litho on the inside because I thought it was really pretty. And then the little um, decanter I showed you. The little rooster decanter pottery from Japan. With the little cups. And I picked this up because I just love this kind of stuff. The, You know, it's supposed to mimic like the uh, old Japanese fishing balls, the glass with the netting around them. And I have a bunch of those that are vintage and antique. And so I picked this up. I'm going to put it in the cell. But, you know, if nobody's in love with it, then I don't have a problem keeping that at all. Then we'll move on down here. This other blue piece that goes really well with that one is... But it's so seedy. I don't know who made it. It's an art glass piece. It's hand blown. Beautiful bowl. And look up here. This is just like a decor piece. But I thought it was really pretty. It's got like the little beehive down here. And it's this tree. And it's got these little apples that are fabric on there. I thought that was really fun. And then I showed this to you in the store. It's a lacquer box. It is two-tiered. It's got two different uh, containers there. I see, I've seen some people call these bento boxes, like vintage bento boxes, and some people call them jewelry boxes. But I picked that up. And I got all these baskets. They look Native American. They could, I don't know. I haven't done any research into them, but I got a bunch of these different baskets, all different colors, because I think they're beautiful. And they are handmade. I just don't know the age of them or anything about them. But I just thought those were really pretty. And we've got these gorgeous, I mean, these are solid brass pineapple bookends. Those are fun. And <laughs> I picked this up. You've seen, like, the little... Uh, mannequins for artists you know they're like the people or the hands or whatever i've never seen a cat one before so i grabbed that because it's all jointed and you can put it in whatever motion you want to but i thought that was so funny so i grabbed him i was like who doesn't need a jointed wooden cat i know i do so i thought somebody else might need someone too so anyway i think that's about it for what i picked up today uh, I do have a few other things that I had sourced the other day that will be coming into the sale tonight. So I hope you guys enjoyed tagging along with me and shopping a little bit and just having, you know, a day out with the girls. 
you know, Edie got her expensive coffee and I got vintage. So have a great rest of your day. I hope to see you tonight right back here on my channel at 9 p.m. for all of these items plus a bunch more uh, for my live sale. And then I will be back on tomorrow morning for my mug clubs. That's at 10 a.m. Eastern. So you guys have a great rest of your afternoon. No, it's not evening yet. Afternoon. <laughs> I've been up a lot, y'all. So uh, have a great rest of your afternoon. And I hope to see you very soon over on my channel for another fun live sale and chat. So you guys, I will see you then. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.